Hello, my name is Patty Kennedy. I'm an artist in schools with the San Joaquin County Office of Education. And during this coronavirus outbreak, I'm staying home with my art supplies and working on art projects and catching up on reading. So today I thought we could do an art lesson that's inspired by the artwork of James Rizzi, an artist out of New York, who was known for his silly buildings. You can look up his artwork online. I have some of his pictures up here to inspire me. And be sure to teach your grown-ups how to do this. So I'm going to start by making two lines that are a sidewalk or a road. And then I'm going to make a big rectangle here, and I'm going to turn this into a skyscraper, a nice tall building. So I'm going to do another rectangle on top of that one, a little bit smaller, and then another one on top of that. So as you go up, it gets smaller, so they become tiers. And I'm going to do a line up here to put a transmission tower on top of the tall building, and then I'm going to do letter C's on it for that transmission tower. It looks sort of like a birthday cake with a candle on top. Now I'm going to turn this into a silly building by putting a face on it. I'm going to start by making two rectangles. And I'm going to do curved lines in there. And the curved lines become the iris or the colored part of the eye. Now I'm going to make a smaller rectangle for a little window. And I'm going to put two lines in it like that to show the panes of glass, and that becomes the building's nose. So now that building smells. And then I'm going to give it a big smile. I'm going to make a crescent shape, and then I'm going to make some funny teeth in there. I think that's pretty silly. I'm going to make another rectangle down here at the bottom. I'm going to do a line down the middle, and I'm going to do two lines like that, and that becomes the door into the building, two doors at the bottom of the building. And then I'll have to decide if my building has more windows. And if it does, I will do the windows where I think they need to be. If I wanted to make another face on top of here, I guess I could. I could give this building a few faces if I wanted to. Use your imagination. Okay, so this building has lots of windows. I'm going to do a smaller building over here, and I'm going to start that as a smaller rectangle or even a square, and I'll put a triangle or an upside down letter V on top. That looks pretty familiar, doesn't it? So now I'm going to turn this into a silly city. I'm not going to worry about that messy line right now. This is a construction line, and that will disappear when I erase and I add color. I'm going to make two rectangles for the eyes and I'll make the curved lines but I'm going to do something different on this. I'm going to make little U shapes at the top of the rectangles so that they look like curtains that are pulled up on a window or eyelashes on an eye. I'm going to make a small window here for the nose on this house. And I'm going to do the smile a little bit differently on this house. I'm just going to do a smile line like that. And then I'm going to do two curved lines at the end of the smile line. And then in the middle, I'm going to make a heart shape. I think that looks kind of silly. And then I'm going to do a door with two lines, and I'm going to make the line on top curved because that's what I feel like doing right now. I'm going to give it a doorknob right there. So I think those are pretty silly buildings, don't you? This line here will disappear. The line that I used to make my rectangle, that will disappear. But I'm go since this building's looking this way and this building's looking this way, let's give them something to look at. So I'm going to be inspired by James Rizzi's artwork and I'm going to draw a James Rizzi bird, which is very big. His birds are always so big they wouldn't even fit in the buildings most of the time. So I'm going to start the head as an upside down teardrop shape. And then I'm going to do a line across there and that becomes the beak or the bill. Two circles for eyes. And then a curved line like this. Go up like that. And I'm gonna give it a wing. 
upside down letter Y's for legs and feet. And then I'm going to put feathers on top of the head because James Rizzi often gave his birds crests or feathers on tops of their heads. But one thing I have to do is I have to put in a great big sun in the sky and I'm going to put a face on that sun to make it silly. So I've got two eyes there and I'm going to give it a great big smile. I'm going to put line, curved lines at the end of the smile. And then I'm going to have the rays of the sun sticking out in a pattern though. I'm going to go straight line, wavy line, straight line, wavy line, straight line, wavy line. And I'm going to make that a pattern all the way around. And I have to make sure that there isn't a curvy line next to a curvy line or a straight line next to a straight line. I have to keep that pattern. I might want to put some clouds in the sky. I might even want to put the moon in the sky while the sun is out. I saw that yesterday when I was out walking. So there's a crescent moon. I'm going to give it an eye and I'm going to give it a smile. I'm also going to draw a giant James Rizzi flower. I'm going to start with a circle and then U shapes around the flower and then a line coming down and then I'm going to come up like that and come up like that. And there is a James Rizzi inspired flower. So I only did two buildings. You can spend a lot of time and fill your paper you can imagine all sorts of things in the sky. You might want to draw another bird in the sky, maybe a bird that's flying. So I'm going to do a teardrop shape. I'm going to make a wing come out like that and a wing come out like that. See that? And then I'm going to make sort of a triangle shape. And there you have a bird flying in the sky. Okay, so let me show you uh, to be inspired by James Rizzi. I outline this with a marker and I use one color of marker in my outlining. That way it holds the whole picture together. So after I outline, I add color. And what I used for color here was colored pencils. But I created some texture here using texture blocks that I made. So let me show you how that works. I found some things around my house that I thought would make some nice texture. I have some plastic from a berry basket. I have netting from a bag of oranges. So when I want to use them to make texture, this is what I do. I take the texture block and I put it underneath my paper. And I go over it with whatever I'm coloring with. You can hear the sound it's making. And it creates a nice texture. I really like using this net. It just has a, a gives me a nice pattern there that I really like. So after I get it all colored in, it will look more full. But this could use a lot more information in it. The sky isn't white, right? So here I filled it in with more color. It's more complete. Instead of filling in the whole sky by just using blue, I used lines of blues and grays. Okay. I use texture here and there. So have some fun with this. Make it your own. And I look forward to seeing you again and doing more art with you. Take care.